Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve QBitTorrent stalled issues. So if you're currently downloading anything, at the moment I'm not downloading, so if I'm downloading something, you will see downloading one, and you see the bar here with all those categories and numbers. So if I'm downloading something, and here on the, the category, it says that, on the status here, it says that the download is stalled. Now, that's what we're going to talk about, how to fix it. Usually, when you get that kind of status, the stalled status, it means that the torrent software has failed to establish a connection between seeders, people who have downloaded the torrent data, and pairs, who are people like you who are also downloading this data. So, yes, these are a few things that may cause for you to get this stalled issue. One. As a peer, you have very limited or no access to CDAS, or CDAS are available, but your internet connection is not just strong enough to keep your connection with them stable. It could also be your antivirus program that is causing this blocking, blocking the torrent from downloading, or maybe the torrent file you're using for download is corrupt. It could also mean that you have insufficient disk space or that your internet service provider does not allow you to download torrent files. Now, if you have checked out some of this, for example, you checked that your internet service provider allows you to download torrent files, you have sufficient disk space on your file, and that your antivirus program is not blocking QTorrent, you've checked that. Here are a few settings you can do. Now, come here to Tools, Options, and let me show you a few things to do. First, here under RSS, make sure you check this. Enable fetching RSS feeds. Enable auto downloading of RSS. Apply. And click OK. And also under, still on the same options, here on advanced. Now, here are some things you want to check. Yes, some of these are OK. Some of these are OK. Yes, support internationalized domain name. Allow multiple connections from the same IP address. You want to check those. Yes, you want to check those. And um, let's check around to see if every other thing is fine. Yeah. Yeah, everything is. Yeah. You can re-announce to all trackers when IP or port changed. You can do that as well. So apply this and click OK. After you've done the settings, close the BitTorrent. Come down here to the task bar. Go to the task manager. Then let the task manager load and I'll show you what to do. Yeah. All everything running that has to do with qubit torrent you have to close it down all right so let's look for that my task manager is a little slow because i'm running a couple of things at the same time so yes Because I currently am not running BitTorrent for download. Yeah, okay. I still have it here. You can run down the app here. You can end the task by clicking this and click end task. So that terminates the process. You can also restart your computer and go back to Qubit Torrent. And definitely your status should have changed to downloading when you're connected back to the internet. That's basically how to solve this stalling issue. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.